it's a vintage storyteller brooch spirit guide pin. Um, anytime you see stuff on there that looks like it's telling a story, put storyteller in the title. That is something that I learned from Moonstone Mamas. Again, go check out her channel. She is amazing. Um, this was another bundle. So I'm going to show you the three items that they bought and I'm going to tell you what they paid in total for those. With hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about small items that sell for a profit. Um, jewelry. If you guys are limited on space and you want to be a reseller, jewelry is a fantastic category to get into. Now, I have a tendency to push the jewelry to the side because it is small and I list the bigger stuff. And I, I need to list my jewelry because there, when I list it, it sells. Now, does a lot of it sit? Yes. But I will tell you, I am not great with keywords. I don't know how to identify stones and I miss stuff all the time when it comes to jewelry because I'm just, I'm not educated in it. I'm trying, I'm learning, but jewelry is difficult. Um, some good channels to watch are um, the Funky Pickle Thrifter and Moonstone Mamas. Those are two really good jewelry channels where you can learn educational tips on um, jewelry, like how to identify things and just different keywords. Like what type of clasp is this? Like, is it a barrel clasp or is it? A, I don't know. I can't think of all of them right now, but um, I'm going to show you some of my bolo items. And if you don't know, it's been before COVID, I picked up, I think it was 344 pounds of jewelry. And there's a whole story behind it. It's on my channel. You can go back and check that out if you like. I'm not going to go into it right now, but 344 pounds of jewelry. And a lot of these sales are from that, but I still have a huge tote full that needs listed. And I invited Moonstone Mamas onto my channel and we unboxed a lot of it together and she identified stuff for me and helped me learn and you guys learn in those videos. They're super educational. Definitely go check them out. A lot of those items are still sitting over there and need listed. So I'll get to it eventually. All right, let's check out some of these what sold on eBay and Poshmark jewelry items. So we are going to start with um, necklaces. This is a vintage amethyst chip nugget necklace strand string gemstone long purple. So these are just little ameth amethyst chunks and they are on a, a necklace. It's a single strand, really, really fun piece. I show it here and here as well with the measurements. And I am getting better at photos also. I listed this quite a while ago. It did take some time to sell, but I had a lot of, I would say two or three other amethyst chip neck necklaces like this, and they sold much quicker. So this one hung around for a while. I ended up selling this for, uh, somebody sent me an offer of $25 uh, plus shipping, but I had the item priced at $20.99. I took their offer because, yeah, I'm going to take their offer. It was more than asking. I don't know what was up with that, but they ended up messaging me and saying that they accidentally put $25. So what I did is I just gave them free shipping. So they ended up getting it for $25 free shipping. So basically, um, they paid pretty much my asking price. The next item I sold is this vintage Barlow Hummingbirds earring necklace set. Oh, the amethyst necklace was from that bulk buy, 344 pounds. So if you hear me say bulk buy, that's what I'm referencing. This one came from that church sale. I have video footage on it where I found the Avon advent calendar that was amazing. Um, that church sale was awesome. If you guys haven't seen that footage, go check it out. And this I paid, I think I paid a dollar for it. And I ended up taking a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Why did I pick this up? I picked this up because I thought it was cute and they had hummingbirds on them. Um, they are signed. I do typically pick up anything signed. Okay. 
This is a caliper. I could not think of what it was called in another video I did earlier. I was like, what is this little machine called? And it measures for you. And it's great for your listings because it shows everybody how big the items are. And you can see right here, I show the post and like whatever that is on it. It's just kind of like plateware, I think is what you call it. And uh, where the back has probably been hitting. But Barlow, clearly marked Barlow. And again, $25 on those. The next item I sold is this vintage 1973 Avon draft necklace. Now, you guys have seen me selling like crazy. Um, I, I say it wrong, I guess. Somebody has told me a couple times. I thought it was glace, but I think it's pronounced, oh, is it glacy? Glossy? I don't know. But anyway, they have like a fragrance inside of them and it's like a perfume. Uh, those sell really good. If They're just bread and butter, you know, 10, 15, maybe 20 bucks on the harder to find ones. But I bought a bunch of those at a thrift store for 50 cents each. This came with them. This is like, I don't know, like a little brush. I don't know if it's supposed to be a brush or not. Let's see if it says, just says Jenny, the draft necklace. But I sold this for $9. The buyer was all in for $13.70. And I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. Original box probably helped also. This is a vintage Crown Trafari signed necklace choker statement piece, gold tone textured. Again, I am not fantastic with keywords, but I am doing my best to try to bring people in with those words. Right here, you can see it is signed. If it has a little crown on top, of the tea. That's one way to know it's crown trifari. And this right here means it's crown trifari. If I am, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but that is my understanding. That is the charm for crown trifari. I got this at a estate sale for $3 and I ended up taking a best offer of $32 plus shipping. The next item here took forever to sell. Um, I think a white background may have been better. It kind of blends in. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just don't think my photos are that great. This is an older listing. Again, took a long time to sell. They are marked 925. I got them at an estate sale. Um, I think it was just like kind of a bulk buy. So I probably have a dollar or less in it. I ended up selling it for $23 plus shipping. So a nice return on my money. But I think there's things that I could have done differently. I, I could have put beaded in the title. I, I don't, I think those are natural stones. I, it's just very necklace and earring set kind of messed up on that. So, but I'm getting better. This is a C1946 3D chunky flower floral necklace statement piece costume. Anything big and chunky. I have a tendency to put chunky and statement piece. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. I just thought it was kind of different and it popped. So I went ahead and bought it and I ended up selling this for $16.28 plus shipping. All right, Poshmark is a fantastic place to put jewelry because when you share your items, it goes into people's feeds. And I feel like people are sometimes impulse buyers with jewelry. They see something and they're like, oh, I'm going to buy that. This is just a fun little seed bead alligator necklace, crocodile beaded. Um, I got this at a garage sale a long time ago. It was a long tail item, took a while to sell, but how cute is this little guy? Um, just a little beaded, probably handmade thing. After fees, I sold it for $15 after fees. So what I do is I send out offers to buyers. And when you do that on Poshmark, they get a shipping discount. I go with the least shipping discount, especially because, I mean, they're already taking 20%. So I'm going to tell you what it sold for and what I got after Posh took out the shop shipping discount and the fees. So my earnings was $10.28 on this. The next item came out of a, um, a dibble box, a... Uh, that is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. That is from Donatella Bottolino's channel. And I had footage of the unboxing. It was another one of the videos that was in the folder that I deleted. So unfortunately, you're not going to get to see that. But I have sold quite a few items from that. And 
Most of the items I just put on Poshmark real quick because I was just trying to get them listed quickly and I didn't even cross post them. So I do st usually start my items on eBay and cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. On this one, I just put it on Poshmark. But if you guys are interested in learning about cross posting, I do have a video down in the com comments. No, description of the video. I use this perfectly. If you check out that video and you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. I have been using it since almost the very beginning, 2019. I absolutely love it and still love it. It is amazing and they are always updating. So um, check out that video. Now, I did send a video over to, um, or a pictures over to Moonstone Mamas on this one. And I was like, should I just put this in a crafter's lot? Because the clasp was gold and silver, like it had been replaced. And I just was like, she's like, no, she's like, that's mother of pearl. Somebody is going to scoop that up. It's um, a good item. And I'm like, really? Like, I just thought it was, I don't want to say junk, but I kind of thought it was junk. Um, so I was just going to throw it in a crafter's lot. And she's like, no, she's like, price that, price that up. And I think she even said to price it higher than I did. I sold this for $19 after fees and everything. I was $13.48 was my profit. Um, this jewelry box, uh, dibble box from Donna, I paid $50 free shipping for it. And it was just full of jewelry. And unfortunately, I can't show you everything that was in it. So um, I do have a few more sales from that box in this video. So I will be showing you a few more things that have sold. Here's another item that sold. And I think I messed up on this one because this like sold so fast. Um, chunky necklace. Like I said, I was just trying to list these items fast. Uh, kind of embarrassing. I think that these may have been stone, some of these, because they were cold to the touch. Um, it had this really cool, um, I forget what you call it, where you can tighten it. I probably should have used that in the title also, but I ended up selling this for $10. I think I could have gotten more. I think I messed up on this. So all of you that are jewelry sellers, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, I ended up getting $7.05. $7.05 was my um, payout for this. The next item is, this is an older sale, but I wanted to mention it because it came out of my bulk buy. And it's a Betsy Johnson necklace. And the reason I liked this piece because somebody who likes dolphins or starfish is going to pick this up, even if it's not branded. This one happens to be Betsy Johnson's. And you can see right here, it is marked. Betsy Johnson does pretty good. Um, is it a big money bolo? Mm, not really. Um, I remember back in the day, Betsy Johnson was like trending. I mean, I'm talking a long time ago when I was a clothing reseller. And I found these dresses at Gabriel Brothers. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's now called Gabe's. And you can still pick stuff up retail arbitrage and flip it from there. But it's not like it used to be. It used to be amazing. But these dresses, I think I paid up for them like 40 bucks, 30, 40 dollars. But I was flipping them for like two and 300 dollars. But they were frilly and fantastic. If you don't know Betsy Johnson, oh my goodness, her stuff is over the top. Very fun and flashy. Um, but yeah, I used to do really good with the dresses. All right. This is a vintage Vendome necklace signed double strand. Let me see if I can get you a picture. That is what it says on it. This came from a garage sale. Um, I just bought all the jewelry. It was like, if I remember correctly, it was sitting in a shoebox. just a fun little item. And I ended up selling this for $25 and my payout was 20 bucks, which tells me that they um, just paid my asking price and or they sent me an offer because I didn't. Uh, that's 20 percent. So I didn't have to pay any of the shipping. The next item is another item that was in my bulk buy. This is a lucky brand reversible tassel necklace. I sold this for thirty dollars. This is an older sale also, but just wanted to bring it to your attention. Anytime you can find jewelry that's new in the original box, whether it's a big uh, money brand or not, it's probably going to sell it. Um, so pick those up if you see them, if you can get them for a good price. All right. 
These little stick pens, they are turtles. They are so cute. They are gold tone. I went ahead and lotted those up because there were two, two turtles. Uh, I don't even remember where I got those, but somebody bundled. So I'm going to tell you the sold price for all three items. I'm not sure. I think this $40 is what I had it listed for. So they bought that and then they bought these two silver tone clear rhinestone fan shaped brooches. These came um, from my husband. He got them at an estate sale and he picked the, um, it was like he bought a whole box of stuff from the estate sale, the leftovers, the stuff that didn't sell. And he was going through it and I picked out probably 10 to 20 pieces and I listed them for him because he will never get to it. And I wanted him to make a little money. So um, I just picked out some stuff I thought was pretty cool. So this, this piece here. And this piece came out of my bulk buy. I always pick up these vintage wood liqueur Russian pins. They have a very unique look to them. They are typically signed on the back like this. If you can make out what it says, include that information in your title. Um, but if not, then you can just leave it off and show a photo. But uh, I didn't have my caliper here and I used the tape measure. I think the caliper is much better. This has been listed for a long time. So the person that bought this bought this, this, and this, and they were all in for $84 plus shipping, $98.13 all in. The next item that sold is this vintage signed Kramer Cromer brooch. Not sure. It's K-R-A-M-E-R. Multicolor enamel floral gold tone. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I ended up taking a best offer of $50 on that plus shipping. This is a signed piece. That's what it looks like. Definitely always look up signed pieces. The next item here is this Avon Fuzzy Bug Caterpillar 1973. Is that not cute or what? Came in the original box. The box has some issues but just a cute little fuzzy caterpillar. Sold this for $10.50 plus shipping and uh, 50 cents at a thrift store. And I got that with all of those Avon pens. Those have just done really well for me. Not big money, but a nice bread and butter. This is a vintage storyteller brooch spirit guide pin. Um, anytime you see stuff on there that looks like it's telling a story, Put Storyteller in the title. That is something that I learned from Moonstone Mamas. Again, go check out her channel. She is amazing. Um, this was another bundle. So I'm going to show you the three items that they bought. And I'm going to tell you what they paid in total for those with the best offer. For some reason, recently, jewelry has been doing really good. So I'm super excited about that. They also bought this vintage theatrical phantom mask silver tone brooch signed TM. And this little 1928 brand brooch pen house home with pink porcelain rose gold tone. So the brand is 1928. And I have sold a lot of the 1928 that have this little porcelain rose. They're mostly bread and butter. But for some reason, I don't know if they're collectible, but people seem to pick them up. So if I see 1928 with that little porcelain flower, I typically pick it up. So this item, this item, and this item, the offer or the buyer was all in for $72.80 for those. All right, the next item is a little bit, a little naughty. I didn't realize it until I got home. I picked this up at a thrift store and vintage signed Urban Fetishes 1998 Pewter Tribal Inspired Brooch Pin Silvertone. I found other ones that were like this, so that helped me with my title. It is marked on the back, Urban Fetishes, and the date. I ended up selling this for $15.40 plus shipping, and I got that at a thrift store for $0.50. Cents. This is a fun little brooch. It's a Marvin Gardens Title Deed Monopoly Card brooch, and I could not find any others like it. I did put Rare in the title. I got this in my bulk buy, and I sold this for $14 plus shipping. The next item here is this Bohemian Boho bracelet. It also came out of my bulk buy. And here is the little tag. It's just a cute little bracelet. And this item. Huh. What? I feel like I missed an item here. I did. 
This was a bundle with a brooch and I don't have the brooch for some reason I didn't, but they were in, all in for this bracelet and the brooch for $21. Not sure which brooch it was. This is a vintage horse head heart brooch pin, silver in color, costume jewelry. And I just thought this was cute. I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold this for a best offer of 16 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage FOE pin brooch fraternal order of Eagles silver tone. I don't know if this was added on to a brooch or what the deal is, but I listed it and it sold pretty quickly. Uh, got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $13.32 plus shipping. The next item is one of those um, brooches that I was telling you about. They've got the glacé. Am I saying it right? I know you guys have told me how to say it, but I'm not sure if I'm still, I said glace, but glacé, I don't know. I'm probably still saying it wrong, but that's what it looks like inside. This is old. The person buying this probably is not going to use it. It doesn't really have the scent anymore. They're probably buying it for the nostalgia of the brooch and really fun item. This one sold for $15 best offer. The buyer was all in for $21.99 on that. And I got it for 50 cents at a thrift store. The next item here is hilarious because my title is vintage brooch pin. Awful. Not sure what this is made of. Unsigned. That's my description. See photos for description. Um, sold as seen. I don't know you guys, but it was funny because when Poshmark was going through that whole thing where everybody was complaining because nothing was selling and uh, they changed the algorithm to uh, the settings of what you saw first. And everybody's like, people with horrible titles are selling stuff. And I and this sold during that time. And I just kind of laughed. And I'm like, they're not wrong. This is a horrible title. And I ended up selling this for $27. My uh, payout was $20.10 for that. And that came out of my bulk buy. The next item is this vintage gold flower pin brooch marked 120th 12 karat gold filled. This came out of my bulk buy as well. And my payout was $12. I sold it for 15. The next item here is this monogrammed initials dangle bin brooch. brooch. I didn't think this was going to sell because it's monogrammed. Can you read those initials? Because I cannot. Um, but somebody could. This also came out of my bulk buy. I sold this for $17. My payout was 17. Um, I was 12.10. And some of these are a little bit older sales. I'm just trying to show you some different things that I've sold. This copper bracelet, this was a recent, the Poshmark ones are older. The eBay are not. This is a copper bracelet, also came out of the bulk buy. I ended up taking a best offer of $15 on that. The buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $21.49. It's vintage signed solid copper braided cuff bracelet. And you can see right there, it says solid copper. The next item is this Alex and Ani Zodiac Pisces Charm Expandable Bangle Bracelet, silver tone. I got this, actually I lied. My husband picked this up. This was another one of those items that I pulled from that lot and listed for him. This sold for $15 plus shipping. And I actually saw, I was over on Whatnot. Um, if you guys are not checking out Whatnot, it's a great place to source, but it's also going to be fun to sell. Um, I am going to be selling on Whatnot eventually. I'm working on making piles of stuff that I want to sell over there and just trying to figure out how I want to do it. Um, if you're not on Whatnot, you can join down below with my referral link. If you use that, you'll get a $10 credit to spend when you sign up with that link. And be sure to follow me, Bolo Buddies, over there on Whatnot because I'm going to be having a live sale. Super excited about that. But um, I was watching Moonstone Mamas earlier today, and she was showing one of these bracelets, and it was a dollar start, and nobody bid on it. I couldn't believe it because Alex and Ani does pretty well. So $15 sale there. The next item is this glass beaded bunny Easter stretch bracelet. Uh, got this out of my bulk buy and I sold this for $14.80 plus shipping. And I want to say there were two or three of these and they have all sold. This was the last one. This is another item that came out of my dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Um, this was in that $50 box. This is just a cool black silver tone bracelet. This sold super fast. So 
Um, I have another one listed that is gold tone. I may have undersold it or just maybe the right person came along at the right time and wanted this. It is kind of small. I have a really small wrist and it was squeezing my wrist tight. So made sure that I put um, pictures there of the length. I sold this for $12. So my payout was $9.05. The next item, this is an older sale, but I wanted to show you guys this because it is, I think it's Weiss, W-E-I-S-S, -S, bracelet clip-on earring set blue. It is beautiful. I picked this up at a thrift store for a dollar and I was over watching Noelle Farm Girl Scavengers. Um, it was actually, she was on, um, oh goodness, I'm going to mess it up. She was doing a live sale and she was selling items. Um, Antiques from Karen Janet is the YouTube channel and they were doing a live sale together. So she was showing a Weiss bracelet and it was beautiful. And a lot of people I don't think know about this brand. So I wanted to share this with you, even though it's an older sale, but I sold this for $50. My payout was $40. So be sure to check out Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and Antiques from Karen Janet on YouTube. All right, this is a clip on earrings lot of five. And I sold this for $15 best offer. The buyer was all in for $22.10, and I picked these up at a garage sale in a bulk lot. Should I have parted it out? Maybe. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. These I picked up at a garage sale and they sold really quick. Um, I got them for $3 and I looked up the brand while I was there and they do pretty good. They're House of Harlow 1960 earrings, gold tone twist hoops, new with tags uh, or new in the box. Sold these for $24.50 plus shipping. The next item are these Sarah Coventry signed gold tone clip on Apple earrings signed. I ended up taking a best offer of $9 on these plus shipping. Again, I'll pick up anything signed. You can see right there, that is what it looks like. It's a good bread and butter brand. I don't know if any of the Sarah Coventry goes for big money. If anybody is a jewelry seller and you know, let me know in the comments, but I have done pretty well bread and butter wise with that brand. This one is a recent sale. Silver and color stud earrings. They're kind of cute because this goes behind it. So you can wear it two ways. I ended up selling these for $12. I don't remember where I got them. Took forever to sell. Um, my payout was 905. This is a snake ring with crystals, size seven. Probably could have had some better keywords there. Um, if anybody wants to enlighten me on some good keywords for that, that would be awesome down in the comments. This came out of my bulk buy and I sold this best offer of $25 plus shipping. The next item is not a piece of jewelry, but it is definitely a big money bolo that you want to be on the lookout for. I picked this up at a garage sale. I paid up for it. I paid $8 for it. That's paying up for me. Um, I knew that I had featured these in a video um, of mine in the past. So I knew that some of them went for big money. I didn't know that it was going to go for this much. I was very, very patient with this item. I waited for the right buyer. And it ended up selling for $140 plus shipping. It's a vintage celluloid ring jewelry presentation box. Rare and hard to find. I could not find any others that looked like this. Um, just a really cool piece. So if you see these, definitely consider picking them up because they can definitely sell for big money. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, jewelry is super easy to find. Um, there are so many places you can source jewelry. You can even go on eBay and source jewelry. Um, there's Goodwill. Uh, sometimes you can find them in the store, the mystery lots, uh, whatnot. Moonstone Mamas, she was doing dollar starts tonight. Could have bought that and resold it. So uh, lots of places to source it. And it's easy. It's easy. And Donatella Bottolino, she sells jewelry over on her channel. Auctions for You is selling jewelry. Um, so check them out. They're linked down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and down below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.